scooters on here, he'll probably... <gasps> Barry, no! It's okay. I knew you'd betray me eventually. It's okay. I, I deserve it. I haven't been streaming as often as I should be. So I'm terrible like that. No, that's okay. You know I, I like it when you always stop by and say hi. And then say some ob obscene things at me. <laughs> favorite part of the stream. Ooh, gold. And gold. Lots of gold. But yeah. <laughs> that's okay. I haven't heard from uh, Wes in a little bit. I hope he's doing okay. I think they just extended. No, let's see things at me. Who oh, looks this? Oh, it's a human wall. That's cool. Um, okay. The bonus. Off camp. Off camp to slaughter. I wish they sold clothes like that now. Like I went to like Old Navy. And they're like, would you like <laughs> off camps of slaughter or the, <laughs> the adventuring club. <laughs> and look, look me in the eye when you say them. That's funny. Uh, I have one follower who I always joke that I'm gonna move out to New Mexico with him and sell like turquoise jewelry and be his second second wife third wife <laughs> i don't know what, what wife he's on now oh was it oh yeah that's because i i think i think it's like my stream is where i'm streaming the sound through my headset I don't even count. They're all in the basement. <laughs> See, I think he's joking, but it's really funny if he's not. Because <laughs> then it's ironic. the thing about the, the pool here and a bunch of people were upset because they decided not to open our pool. <laughs> I think you had the other ones si force sign a uh, consent form. right now like uh, yeah I see people that are I forgot where it was like Florida's or something hi Sway how are you oh shit yes I just said oh shit because I realized my audio was on the whole time so you probably heard me listening to Adi and hopefully nothing really terrible I should probably I'm gonna check the stream um, uh, god damn it I'm annoyed at myself but anyway um, if, if you heard that that was basically um, someone else I watch Adi the redhead a wonderful person you should go watch her 
but I didn't actually mean to be streaming her audio. That was a mistake. So give me a few more seconds here. We're almost, uh, this part where I start doing audio was supposed to come later. Um, so I'm a little bit behind now. Okay. And I don't even think, oh, no, actually, never mind. One second here. All righty. Uh, when I say one second here, of course, I mean an infinite number of seconds here. And let me, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Also, I need to stop some of the, the more uh, vigorous processes that are running on my machine um, so I can get more CPU to stream because clearly that is very, very sad, actually, that the most important thing I do on my computer is stream because that means everything else is less important. And that is very, very depressing, I think. Uh, but and that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Okay. And I have a git that's running for some reason, but I don't need it to be. Okay. So please continue to stand by and make some comments in the chat. Make yourself at home. Make yourself a cup of tea. I don't care. Turn yourself into a uh, frogman. I mean, whatever it is you want to be doing here, you go do that. And you can keep doing that once the stream starts. There's nothing stopping you. Uh, but let's see if I can actually get the stream started, because we do have some stuff to go through today. And I guess, did I put it on audio? I did not. Let me go ahead and actually make the video. Oh, yeah, I got the wrong window. Beautiful. I'm really sucking this up today. So you can read a little bit of this while, uh, while I figure out what the hell I'm doing here. Um, yeah, I think we're fine now. Okay. Um, hello, and welcome to the stream. Uh, again, I am... I am what I am, and that's, that's all that I am. Okay, um, I continue to be annoyed about Sweden, and I want to clarify, I'm not annoyed at Sweden. Uh, at least not about this. Now, I mean, Sweden, wonderful country, lots of yodeling. I think they made Rikola, the, the cough drop. I think that's theirs. Um, they didn't quite make Angry Birds, but like a nearby country that's pretty much the same did. Uh, the only big problem with Sweden, of course, is people can fuse it with Switzerland, even though they're very different countries. So I think Sweden and Switzerland should form one big country. But people also uh, confuse Sweden with Scandinavia, which is a peninsula that contains Sweden. So I think... Sweden and you know, the rest of Scandinavia and Switzerland should form a country called Scandinavia and Switzerland. That didn't, that sounded way better in my head. Scandinavia plus Switzerland too. Then there you go, solve all the problems. But the reason I'm annoyed about Sweden is again, people have been saying that it has the highest uh, coronavirus deaths if you take a very bizarre specific um, measure of, of, of how you measure the deaths. And I showed yesterday, it is actually pretty high. Um, oh, actually, this is in Europe, not worldwide. Uh, the statistic I saw was in the world. So I mean, they, so this is limited basically in Europe. Past week, Oxford data. So, and, and the problem is, of course, if you look at America, may have more, may not. I, I, don't, I don't actually know. Um, and if you look at just something other than the past week, as I showed yesterday, it's not always going to be at the top. And I'm not using the Oxford data either. So, so, so really, I showed yesterday that if you look at enough back data, uh, really just saying that Sweden is the worst uh, per capita is not, is not correct. So the one thing I did forget to do of, you know, I mean, aside from have a meaningful life, um, is to update the COVID data that I have. Um, and I can't quite do that from here because um, well, I, I think I've tried it before and it doesn't quite work for some reason. Um, it, this is basically, a ma I'm mounting my main drive onto here. Uh, so, um, so by the way, if you did want to know who I was hosting, that was Adi the Redhead that you heard. Um, okay. And, um, and you heard her through my headphones. You didn't hear her because I was hosting her because that wouldn't make sense. Okay, and I'll, I'll go ahead and update both sets of data, though I think I'm actually going to use one. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, and now we can go over to BC COVID. Let's see if I've bothered to fuck stuff up some more. I think we can just go to this one. Okay. Um, and once again, we're having some problems with the chat, it looks like. It's 
kind of come in and out of chat. But if what uh, Milkistramu told me yesterday is correct, I'm actually streaming okay. And of course, my lovely voice totally makes up for the bad chat, or I think it's actually the other way around. Okay, um, so we, we actually made quite a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra stuff here yesterday, um, so we could look at this. Um, we could look to see what the mean deaths per day were. So let's go ahead and bring up. Yay! Screen started automatically, which is actually what I wanted. Yay! So maxima two till the BC get. Um, one bad thing, by the way, about freezing the machine and not refreezing it every night is that what comes up in Emacs is um, is getting older and older. It's because it's stuck to the day that I froze the machine, so I probably need to do something about that. Um, I'm not exactly sure what, but but maybe I need to like open up Emacs each time so we get a fresh copy of, of the data after I start the SSHFS. Okay. So enough babbling and sorry, I was gonna say enough babbling incoherently, but oh shit, this is the wrong one. Um, but that's all the stream is is babbling incoherently. So it takes something is slowing down my machine. I'm not happy about it, but, but whatever. Okay, so mean deaths per day. Country is this function, and we, yesterday we sorted them for like if you do eight days, you'll see that. Um, the United Kingdom is the worst, and it is in Europe, despite what they, they think. Oh, this is actually uh, including yesterday's data, so... Do it for seven days, still United Kingdom, Sweden falls to third place. Do it for nine days, I think you, that's where you might hit Sweden, at number one. Um, let's see. Do it for five days, I think, yeah, I think Sweden's, again, kind of going down in terms of deaths now. Well, it's still up there, but the number per day, per million, has gone down. Although it's still still up there, though. Uh, oh, two days ago it was Sweden, and yesterday, yesterday, Sweden fell back to third place. So some of this is, of course, um, even though the reporting is done on UTC, uh, universal time, so there's not a time zone issue. Um, some of this data, though, you know, is, is, is adjusted later on, so it's not 100% accurate. But now what we want to do is... This is if we do the analysis today. What if we did it yesterday? In other words, what if we did it from day N through day M. Um, and apparently I like to really do this. Um, um, which is actually, I mean, it's nice because it looks really cool, but it's bad because I'm doing a lot of things at once. So I'm basically going to try to create a function called mean death days, which I probably should give it some other name because it'll, I don't want to override this function, that goes from day N to day M. Um, and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure take list. Which, by the way, take list I have uh, aliased to be equal to. Um, I'll take. L really, is it take list? Or is it just take? I'm sorry. Um, so take. I just. Uh, change it to be first n, which I don't think is going to be enough, uh, because we actually want from n to m. Um, so let me try it. Uh, let's say if I wanted the first through second elements, this is not going to do that. Uh, so I need to be a little bit more careful with my uh, with how I did take, or more importantly, I'm just going to try to find the function in maxima that uh, takes... Uh, I, and again, I'm looking for the word take, which is actually not correct, because for them it's first n. Part is probably the one I want. Um, let's see. So this takes parts two, this takes parts one and three, but now can you give it a range? Example part. Oh, that's nice that they didn't bother to put documentation in here, like they do for everything else. Um... Mm. So not quite what we want. I think there is a range function that also um, that will give. Uh, let's see. Pick a part. Oh, pick a part, not pick a part. Um, this is good shit here. 
So let's see if we can find how to take from one position to the other as opposed to, let's see, I think we're in the list category, god damn it, uh, data types and structures. The weird thing is they put their list functions right, introduction to list, okay, that's good, da 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 da, and now the functions. So that's the list creator, I hate going through this every time, append, associate, cons, cutter, I don't think they have cutter, copy, create list, delete, See, this is the thing, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'll whine about it again. They have a function explicitly to give you the eighth element of a list, but they don't apparently, but it's much harder to find the function that gives you elements one through n, or, you know, two through n. Okay, first n, uh, and rest, which would be the remainder of the list. Um, There is one way to do this that doesn't require um, that doesn't require looking through all this crap. I'm not really happy about it though. Um, and that would be to basically do a new make list and create a new list out of it uh, to create the sub list. Okay. Which I guess is what actually, if you think about it, uh, what uh, part does as well. Reverse list, reduce, seventh, sixth, sort. Plurg. Ooh. Now this actually is evaluated on the list elements, not on the list indices. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, this returns the indices of the test is still performed on the elements. And third, true, reduce, unique. And again, I have gone way past the point where it'd be easier to just to solve it myself instead of looking for a function that already does it. This is um, pretty standard of me, actually. All right, so let's say we have a range function here. Uh, range three? Wrong. A list of exp okay. Range. Oh God. Nope, that's not what I want. I want to create a numerical range. And here is where we kind of give up. So we're gonna take make list, um, a, a list. Um, I don't like using so I'll say, I'll say A of I. A of I, where I is between N and M. So this will be, now this is where it gets to be fun. Because I can't name this thing take, oh, that's not what I wanted. I can't name this thing take because I already have a take function, but I could, I could replace that. But, um, now this, I, this is almost definitely not going to work. In theory, this is a different function because it takes a different set of arguments. Um, so it takes the list A. It takes the uh, M should probably be less than N. So I will go ahead and put this as M to N. I'm just following the standard convention that N is the biggest one. Um, so set equal to, so so this this is a defining a function, but it doesn't get evaluated right away. I'm pretty sure this is going to break things. So now if I do, oh no, sorry, it's going to be take one, two, three, four, seven, eight, twelve. Take elements three through five. Give me a nice three element list. Nice. Wait. Hang on. Oh wow, have I have I actually defined this separately as the function? And I think I have. Yes, I have a function and I have a, a hard function, a, a memoizing function. That is just amazing. Um, the fact that that works. 
array list take, I think is what it is. Nope, it's take list array take. Um, that actually might be correct. Is it? Uh, let me do this real quick. Let me do, I want elements four through six, and then I want to do the straight take. Okay, it, it does somehow know where the position, so I, yeah. It actually is memoizing, but in a weird way that's, that's weird. I also don't like the fact that list array and array list don't work together. So um, list array is the one that works. So we're going to say alias array list to be list or array is, which is someone who discriminates against arrays. Very sad. Okay. Gorgeous. And I think the other one is array. Uh, info. Yeah, that one I'm okay with. Okay, yeah, so it is hashed and it is saying that for three the value is, is... Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna, oh. I'm just gonna pretend that's fine. These are the, these are the keys of the hash. Um, so maybe I should, uh, uh that's just, okay, freaking weird. Okay. Alright, so I've now defined this. So now I could define that for um, shit. So now I could. This is bad programming, but I do it all the time. Um, I'm going to basically make this not just the list. I'm going to take the mean of the list. I'm going to take the floating point approximation to the mean of the list, and then I am going to um, turn A into country, and so the list here will be deaths of country. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Um, so this make list mean, and then I need to divide it by the country's population. Um, and to avoid dividing by zero or whatever, we need to make sure the population of the country is, in fact, uh, um, a number. And if it's not, now oh, hang on, then we still need to do this. Now, this is pretty much the same thing as this, um, except instead of making, um, I guess we should call this mean death days two, the adventure continues on MN. So this is almost the same as this, except, oh shit, no it's not, because, um, Make list. It is actually going to be the new death, so we actually want differences in death country. Um, the ith element of that. Motherfucker. Yeah, I probably should have simplified this into functions. This is hideous. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it even bothers to... Yep, it's going to let me define it. So now let's do it with my favorite country, Sweden. So show me the Swedish um, from day 4 to day 10, which should be 0, by the way, because I don't think... Yeah. Um, show it to me for day 1. To day, have we had 100 days yet? We have. Uh, in fact, how many days have we had? Really? I have not bothered to define days? That does not seem correct. Oh my god. 
bad is this? Um, wow. I could have sworn I defined the days variable. Maybe I did it some other way. But I mean... Oh, country. Uh, no, that's not days. Countries is not the same as days. All right. I mean, I guess we could do... Because Deaths Sweden is going to be a list. And we could take the length of the list. But be careful, the differences is one shorter. So 120 days. So what we could do here is say from Sweden, is 1 to 120. And then just 120. Should give the same answer. If I know what the hell I'm doing, country and N. Okay, why is that not doing what I want? Have I defined mean death days? I think I have, right? Mean death days. Well, clearly I have not done that then. Okay, so now... Right, the problem is that because of memoization, once it has computed a value for something, it will never change that value unless you force it to. Um, so let's get this defined. I think this is probably good enough to become a formula we should load every time, but let's not let's not do that right now. Oh, did I leave out a semicolon? Hang on. No, I didn't. Let's try this again. That's fine. You're very happy. This. Okay. Don't know what the hell happened. All right. So let's say the mean death days of Sweden over the last, let's say, 20 days. Mm, something no go right. Something make Binky sad. This was working. All right. Eh, if number of pop. Oh. Okay. Number of population is country. Then mean differences. Deaths country. Over population. Do I need to load in the population? Have I not done that? No, I'm, I did that. All right, well, okay. Let's just go through this. Um, uh, population of country, which is a, uh, a hard, is an array, I should say, actually. Okay, so we should now go into this um, differences death country. Okay, getting suspicious now. Let me make sure I did define mean death days. For some reason, it doesn't seem to think I did. It is Pomodoro time, but it's not really even the first one, but I'm going to skip it. Next time I am going to go. Um, okay. So somewhere, somehow, I have effed things up. Let's restart. Very much sadness has occurred. Let's just do this one. What's interesting is that the arguments didn't seem to come through, but I mean, they're part of it, obviously. So if I say mean death days, Sweden, yeah, 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 20. Okay. Okay, maybe somehow I, I effed it up by defining this 
The only thing I can think of is for some bizarre reason, uh, variable names have a length limit. Um, so let me just try this again. MN. Okay, that's fine, because it's actually, say from days 20 to 25. Shit. I have to redefine it now, because... That's the problem with memoizing functions. I mean, they're good in general, because they, they, they help. Um, but they're bad in this case, because if you're testing them, they don't work that well. Okay. So mean death days. Interesting. Interesting in the sense of not interesting. All right, let's take a quick look to see if variables have a length limit. If they do, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Uh, no, I don't want functions. I want functions and variables in general. There we go. Um, tell me about variables. That might be in the very basic introduction. Variable. Z. Variable names. Oh. Okay. That that's a little bit helpful. Operators are nouns and operators are verb. Okay, that is a very strange way of doing things. But they really mean array versus um, uh, array versus uh, versus function. Okay. That's just kind of stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Aha! Okay, come on. I know I'm spending more time looking on it than would be just to give it a different name entirely. Um, variable length. Which is not actually what it would... Alrighty, let's just see if that's going to work when I say have death days mn. And I think we'll probably get rid of this sort because it doesn't really belong here. Do this, do that. And I'm still annoyed I, I don't have a days uh, counter, but that's probably okay. Something is not quite right. So let me see if I can say average death days. Sweden 10 to 12. Okay. Gorgeous. Uh, 10 to 120 I think will work. Okay, good. Um, maybe that was it. Maybe you got confused with those two, um, with those two identifiers. No, no, it's not what I meant to do. Evil, evil, evil. Uh, Sweden, say 110, which might actually match that number. It doesn't, but maybe this will. <whistles> um, yeah, that's, that's not going to do it. Okay, so that stays 11 through 120, and because of the fence post rule, 120 minus 11 is 109, but that's 110 days. So that is actually the last 110 days. So... So the point of all this is now we can actually go back and look at uh, the average number of deaths. Wait. Oh yeah, I changed it to average instead of mean. That's why they're not conflicting, or maybe that's, I don't know. Um, so now what we can actually do here 
You have to be a little bit careful because we want M and N, but N has to grow, go from M to the end day, which I think is 121, right? Um, because... Yeah, so it's 120 because uh, we're looking at uh, not cumulative deaths, but new deaths per day. Um, make a little note here. Obviously, there's better ways of doing this. Length is 120. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to try to make a list. So this is just a very simple one. Um, of i, comma j, where i goes from 1 to 10, and j goes from i to 10. Um, if this works, I will be extremely impressed. Oh, great. <laughs> wow, that is the most helpful error message this thing has ever given me. Okay. Make list ij where i goes from 1 to 10. Um, so from where j goes from 1 i to 10. And then on the outside, i goes from 1 to 10. But that might actually be really, really helpful if that works. That is nice. And the length of that should be uh, 50. Fuck. Because there is one level of flattening that I need. Because I this is actually technically correct, but let's see. Now if I, I think this is going to also not work. Because that, that's flattening too much. We need to flatten it down one level. What if we can do flatten one? <whistles> nope. So that, that, that's going too far. I need them to be paired. Mm, all right. Let's see if there's, in the, in the help for flatten, let's see if there is a... Um, oh, why does the help for flatten come before the definition of flatten? Well... Okay. Um, yeah, flatten. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, but how do I flatten only one level? Uh, okay. Once again, yep, and that's what I do not want. Uh, but let's see if we can actually use our good friend Google. Maxima flatten level. Um, which might flatten more levels than you want. Okay, so let's just um, see if there's a discussion here. Flatted. Oh. Yeah, why don't I use X reduce? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the hell it is, that's why. But let's, let's see, X reduce. Extends the function F. Oh, so it applies a function. So let's see if there's a little hack, which I, to me this is just a hack. Um, apply the function append to each of these things. And that should be... I said 50, but 55 is correct, because we're act actually... Oh, actually, we don't need to count uh, cases where the two numbers are the same, because that, that would be dividing by zero. So, a little booyah for me there. 
And what's bizarre is this might act. Oh shit, that's not the one I. That's. Wrong! And the problem here, by the way, is if i is 10, there should be no output at all. So really, we don't even need to do i10, but you know. God damn it. They are really. Oh no, I'm sorry. J goes from i plus 1 to 10. So this should, in theory. That's not actually correct, by the way. But you know what? Why don't I just be. Why don't I just not be stupid? I will go from 9 to 1, and then J can go from I plus 1 to 10, because that's really what I'm trying to do. Okay. And that creates a list of lists. So now we can do this total piece of shit. Uh, I probably should create a flattened function of my own, but for right now, and that should be 45, I think. Yeah, because it excludes the ones where they're all equal. 50 is if you include half and don't include halves, which is stupid. It's just... It shows our numbers are at least within the correct range. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay. Um... Okay, I got distracted by a shiny object. Okay, so now if I can do this... Oh, man. And I want to do it for every country. I... I am amazing. Okay... How many freaking things am I creating here? Um... Well, part of it I can get just by doing um, J goes from I to 1 to 120, and I goes from 1 to 119. This is going to create a huge list, and I probably should not do what I'm about to do, which is this. That wasn't actually too bad. Okay. And... So I'm about to produce a list that is... That big. 1.3 million elements. So now let me see if I can do this with an other nesting. I think I can, actually. And again, really realistically, I should be breaking this up into functions. I'm not because I'm an asshole. That, that's the real reason. Um, I goes from 1 to 19, that's that make list. No. Um, and then inside this make list, oh, I actually need the word country in here. Um, actually, we're going to sort by, um, so it's going to be I, J, okay, yeah. So the, the very first thing here is actually going to be the number we're going to be computing. Uh, but for right now, we can do it this way. Country goes through the list of countries. I think this is correct. And I also think this is going to be like a m too big. Well, not too big. It's just going to be really big. And that's going to take a time. That's actually not too bad. I'm not going to wait for the whole thing. That's not as big as I expected. That's what she said. <laughs> no. um, it's almost pi, but it has nothing to do with pi. Okay, I think that might be because I interrupted it. So let me now... Uh, random variable, meaning temporary variable, not random. Uh, I guess it's random too, kind of. If you accept it, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do this, and this time I'm actually going to assign it. I'm, n I'm going to uh, suppress the output. Because that's what I am, man. I'm a, su I'm a suppressionist. Um, that's not... That's pretty fucking fast, actually. Uh, that... 
is not what I was expecting. 119, so... Hmm. Oh, oh shit. Do I need another X reduced in front of all that? I do. So this is this could very e much easier have been done with um, with functions. Uh, so this is actually the same array except it's flattened one level. So I would expect this now to be of length um, really big. There it is. Um, now, the sad, the sad thing is, this is not the array we need. This is just the array that gives us the indexes to the array that we need. Say so that five times fast. Um, so what we actually need now... I'm going to copy this because it's... I'm going to go ahead and also g GitHub this real quick. Because this is good shit here. Okay. The, th the actual value we want, the whole thing, the whole reason we're doing all this, um, is to measure the function, the average number of the deaths per day, per million, uh, per country, for each pair of days. Say that's fine. Yeah, I can't even say that one time fast. Okay, so this is basically the, the real value we actually want is average deaths, days, MN, country, I think I got that backwards. Yes, because I is going to be the higher one. So from J to I, and then do that. Now this could take a fucking long time, because it's, we're basically doing a million assignments here. Zero to negative exponent. That, not what I expected. Shit. Did I? No, I actually added... This is actually okay. Um... Oh, actually, let me make this a different variable. Oh, that doesn't like that. Okay, I guess someplace I'm creating a... Um, I guess someplace I'm creating an empty list? I shouldn't be doing that, though. One to two. At no point should I be... Oh, this is going in country order, I guess. So that 1 to 120. Oh, that should not have been Albania. Oh, over 2, actually. The one after that should just go right, yeah. So, I'm uh, not sure what's going on here. Um, normally, the technique here would be to look at, instead of looking through all the countries, it is Pomodoro time, I'll be back in 2 and 2.
and we are almost back. And we're back. So normally I just cut down the sides of this list, but this I've done this so badly, um, I kind of want to do it again correctly. So um, let's see. So the first thing I want to create um, is a what I'll call a flatten one function. And this will just be what we've already done here, which is... Oh, God. Okay. Um, the second thing we probably want to do here is um, nested list creator. So we want basically to have... Um, which might be difficult because... Because it's the, what it's going to look like basically is like something like uh, list creator, some variables here, x goes from 1 to 10, y goes from 1 to 20, you know. This, and the problem is that's going to actually require us to do quite a bit of work here. Um, or is it? Um, and you kind of almost want the second argument to be an array now because you don't know how many arguments are going to be there. Because if we're going to go really gonzo on this, we should we should do it generically. And uh, let's see. Do I want to thread this needle? Um. So I think. I think the, I'm gonna go ahead and BC get this real quick before I forget. Um, okay. So let's see. So the flattened one I'm pretty happy with. Um, triple make list. Is there a way to do that elegantly? I, 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 it might not, there might not be. Um, I mean, obviously there's a way to do it, but can I write, the fu do I know enough to write that function right now? Um, wow. Um, I almost wonder if you could do it recursively. Like if there's one element in the list, you, d you have one variable that you're parsing through, just send it to make list. And if there's more than one variable, do a make list on the last argument and send it up one level. But I do not think I want to do that. Um, okay. So we're not going to go quite that far. Um, so we're going to do a little bit better than this. We're going to say... Uh, make list of make list of make list. Um... Average death. Oh, hang on, is it deaths or death? The I hope it's deaths. That's a very sad thing to say. Day M N. Country J I. Followed by. I think I'm going to go from J I here, just to get the order the same. And in that, we have. Country goes through a list of countries first. Uh, and that's that. Uh, I'm going to be even nicer because I want... Now I actually want to understand what I'm doing, which is usually not the, the case. Okay. So average deaths per day per country. Okay, da-da-da. 
country goes for countries. That's the innermost list. Now we have to do J goes from I plus 1 to 120. That's the end of that list. Then I goes from 1 to 119. Let's put that in our... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Um, actually, I'm kind of curious as to what that gives us. This is going to give us a highly nested list because I'm not doing any flattens. Also, I probably should have done it with a smaller example. But... Um, yeah. So even with one country, this is going to be sort of icky, but let's do that. So here we're just going to replace countries with SAMP. We might have to go even smaller than this, but you know what? Let's see what we can do with this. Oh. Be good. It would be good if I actually um, define my variables. Okay, so what is this going to give us? Third argument. Okay, we're good. So this shouldn't take that long now. Hang on. Yep, as always, I have forgotten. I'm pretty sure I can't alias the colon to be the equal sign. I don't think that kind, I don't think they'll allow that level of, of aliasing. Okay. So we have yours average death MN US 117, US 1. So this is the correct. Rorge. It's not the correct way. We should have. What am I doing here? Um, J is the smaller number. I is the one that goes from 1 to 1. Nine, Oh, shit. Do I have this backwards? I do. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. J is the one is the one that is the higher number. Hello. Oh, hello, Natalie. Um, uh, yeah, Sweden uh, presumably has the highest uh, per diem death rate over the last seven days. So let me actually um, let me show you what we had earlier here. Uh, it's from Read Me Stream. Um, well, Natalie, I think we we've had some discussions, um, but but anyway, since since you're asking, I'll I'll go ahead and answer your question. Um, according to a source, Sweden recorded the most coronavirus deaths in Europe per capita over the past week, according to Oxford data. And what I'm claiming is that this is actually not a very good statistic. And I'm not saying Sweden. I, I love Sweden's. I love Swedish people. Um, and yes, I realize you're Swedish. Um, the most coronaviruses. What I was pointing at, this is a very, this is a very um, deceptive statistic because, uh, first of all, they're limited to Europe. Per capita is fine. But over the past week, according to Oxford data. Now, the thing is, if you look at the past, for example, eight days or six days, it's not the, the highest deaths per day. So this looks like someone is making an effort to make Sweden look bad. And why would they be doing that? Well, it's because Sweden is the one country that, uh, I think it's the only country that actually has no uh, restrictions on uh, coronavirus, um, on, on, you know, on no quarantines, no internment, no mask requirements. And so the idea, of course, is people who, who want to support all these things and say, you know, we're doing something, we're doing something useful, uh, obviously have to defeat, have to say that Sweden is bad, because uh, otherwise, if it turns out that Sweden isn't hit any worse than anybody else, it means pretty much, it doesn't really mean this, but it could mean that all of the stuff that other countries are doing... Um, see, and I disagree with this opinion of yours. You, I realize that, uh, I realize you think people should be taking these, uh, these precautions, but I think, I mean, I don't object necessarily to social distancing, that's not too bad. Um, I do object to mandatory mask wearing, but I mean, if you think about it, you know, social distancing should suffice, and I'm definitely against quarantine. So my feeling is this is a political move by some people 
um, to um, this is a political move to make Sweden look bad because we don't, you know, we don't, and this is again more on Sweden. I'm not saying Sweden's the moron, I'm saying people who are trying to make Sweden look bad are the morons, and they're doing so using deceptive statistics. And, um, and if you look at the statistics in any other way, including the most famous way of looking at statistics, which is worldometers, um, let me go ahead and reload this page. Um, you look at deaths per one million population. I think I went the wrong way with it. Okay. San Marino is a small country, um, so that doesn't really count. Let me actually make this a little bit smaller here. Um, let me go a little bit to the left here. Um, San Marino is a small country, so we really, that's an outlier. Belgium, you know, really up there. Uh, sorry, total deaths. Uh, Andorra, small. Spain, Italy, UK, France, big, big countries. And they all outpace Sweden. Now, you know, Sweden is a little bit more deathly for this than the USA, but not a hell of a lot more. 294 to 389. It's, it's a little bit more, but it's not... It's, it, it's not proper to say that Sweden is dangerous. Uh, you know, it, it's not proper to say their policies are failing because we have these huge, huge countries, France, UK, Italy, Spain, and Belgium, uh, that have higher death rates, and they are taking precautions. I mean, you could almost argue with these numbers, um, these countries, you can't really make this argument, but in theory, uh, you could make the argument that these countries uh, should be doing what Sweden's doing. I mean, if you're purely going by statistics, Sweden's in better shape. But people are trying to um, sort of defeat, people are trying to support the sort of fascist idea of um, internment. And, uh, uh, you know, in our, in our country, we have um, governors, one person, just the governor, decides to shut down the state. The legislature and the court system hasn't done anything about it. And the whole idea of our balance of powers is, you know, we can't let one mad person, one madman, or in our case, mad woman, um, close down the state. But that's what's exactly what's happened is we have, we have, um, um, yeah, and then, you know, again, and that is the other thing, the, the, you know, the break in the economy. Now, I, I don't want to focus too much on the economy because... If you say, you know, it looks like that people are just saying uh, greed is better than health. And I don't want to say that. I, I'm, it, to me, it's more of a freedom issue. But you're correct about the economy because, and I said this before on stream, and I'm, it, it just sounds terrible, but I think it's true. Um, people are thinking incorrectly, in my opinion, that once this is all over, um, everyone's going to get their job back. You know, people are laid off, they're going to get their job back. People are going to go back working in offices. Everything's going to go back to normal. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think one issue is going to become that, um, one good issue will be that uh, if people can work from home efficiently, that cuts down on commuting, that cuts down on po uh, pollution, that cuts down, that's a, that's a really good benefit. I mean, if working remotely is good for everyone, good for the environment, probably good for the employees because they don't have commute time, there's less stress, good for the employer because presumably uh, employees that are less stressed are working better. Uh, you know, if they take a break for lunch, it doesn't, doesn't take as much time. Um, and, you know, and um, if you can put them as contractors, which I don't know if you can do legally in the United States, uh, you know, they pay for their own equipment and stuff too. So it's really a good, good benefit there. The problem though is uh, for companies that have cut back on the number of employees, they might find out that they can do just fine without ever hiring these employees back. It's like the, uh, you know, at work, there's the joke that one guy does all the work. Everybody else delegates it. One guy does the work. Exaggeration. But in a lot of, in a lot of companies, um, you'll find that 90% of the people are doing very little and could be replaced by a very small number of people, uh, if not entirely by the other 10% of the company. Um, and this is giving us a, uh, this coronavirus is giving us a, uh, a very stark look at that. And I think companies, obviously, companies are not going to, you know, I mean, companies are, they want to cut costs. And 
getting rid of useless employees, they've done that, there's no need to hire them back. So I, I see that this is going to be a permanent change to our economy. Um, it may lead to government bailouts, but at some point, I mean, the United States can print, the United States, if they wanted to, you know, they gave everyone 1200 bucks or 2400 but whatever it was, um, they could give everyone $10 million, a trillion dollars if they wanted to, but our currency would become, and we could print currency because we're a sovereign nation, our currency will become useless then. America's going to fade as a world power if we have to do all these bailouts and no one's actually producing anything, people are getting money for doing nothing. Um, that's going to, I think, have a, a very negative effect um, on, on, on the country as a whole. Um, I mean, my personal view, which is a little bit, um, it's controversial. Um, I've always said that 90% of the people, and I, that's just in general, not in, a, not in a given company, not in a given country, just in general, in some abstract sense of the word, uh, are useless to humanity. Um, and I would encourage, um, you know, I believe in uh, legalizing assisted and attempted suicide. There's no reason to legalize suicide because you can't convict a dead person. Um, and I actually would encourage people who are, who are in poverty or uh, who are living terrible lives, uncomfortable, terrible lives, to voluntarily commit suicide, lower our population, and, and maybe get it down to, uh, maybe get our country down um, to fewer people, but that's not, it's just not a, the number of people. A lower density of people, and, and people who I think, you know, we, we could support more easily. Um, because if your life is terrible, and you're, I mean, I think there's a lot of people who, if they were given the option of a uh, peaceful suicide that was guaranteed to work, because the danger and attempting suicide is you end up just really messed up and not dead or uh, you know you have to go into therapy or whatever because people are like oh you tried to commit suicide now you're a crazy person um, but if we could get rid of that stigma and and I believe this is also the solution to uh, world hunger is to go to places like Africa and you know 100% voluntary say there's really in Africa not a lot of arable land. We just can't grow enough food to feed everyone there. We could bring in food from other places, but, you know, so maybe it's time to think about uh, either moving somewhere else, but that, that's an issue, or maybe it's time to think about thinning down your population instead of having babies all the time, do the opposite of that and, and voluntarily uh, sacrifice your life so there's fewer people, better quality of life. And that is my... Um, that I believe everybody should be doing. Uh, that is my, um, and uh, that is also, it is Pomodoro time. It will be in 14 seconds anyway. I will be back in two minutes and two seconds. Okay, we are almost back, and we're back. And you know, I do not believe that is true. I actually think um, the people in overpopulated areas who are parents probably will not. They care about their kids. Um, 
and there will be other people who think, you know, life is worth living. But I think living in a civilized country like Sweden or the United States, I think we tend to forget that um, a lot of people's day-to-day -day life is a lot of suffering. <coughs> I mean, obviously we have suffering in our life too. First world problems, all that stuff, and sometimes even more serious suffering. But I think what we don't understand is there are people who actually live their lives miserable and it's a constant state of misery for them. And it might be, it doesn't have to be in overpopulated areas either. It could be in a very sparsely populated area. Um, and I think those people, if they were given the option um, to commit suicide, but now of course, okay, now I'm gonna say something even more controversial. So this is turning into a political stream, but I don't care because whatever. I think if we got rid of uh, welfare, um, public schooling, basically any sort of system where one person is paying for another person's benefit, um, because the, the people who have a lot of money, they're paying way more than their fair share of the taxes. They are subsidizing uh, people who, uh, other people. Um, but these are the systems that also let them kind of pull them up a little bit. Um, to where their lives are still kind of miserable, but not miserable. I mean, it's like, in a way, it's worse. Because if you're living in total suffering, you'd want to kill yourself. But if we elevate them to where they're living in, like, sort of uselessness, no hope for the future, but they're not, you know, they still get enough to eat and drink, uh, eat sh food, shelter, whatever it is, then you might want to continue living, but it's a very, very poor, worthless hopeless kind of life. So I think we basically need to, um, for the reason of fairness, uh, get rid of welfare, um, public schools, any sort of public, um, uh, you know, public benefit programs. And in the United States, we're pretty good about, we don't have too many of them. We don't have um, socialized medicine. We don't have a lot of what Europe has, where I think, you know, I've heard the tax rates are 60 to 70% for some people. And uh, that's way too high um, because you're subsidizing other people. It's not because if you're paying for your own services, great. Uh, and that, of course, reduces the incentive uh, to, uh, to, be, to uh, become rich, to uh, innovate. So that's my position here is uh, voluntary suicide definitely should be a thing. And getting rid of the programs which you think help people, uh, like welfare and public schooling, but they don't really help people. They just sort of keep people at a hideous, uh, hideous, idle, useless level. Because, I mean, got to tell you, the world in the future, uh, computers are doing more and more things. Computer programmers, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting the coronavirus. Uh, computer programmers, still in high demand, um, and people with extremely high skills will always be in demand. But a lot of the people coming out of high school today, you know, they're stupid. Uh, American high schools, I don't know what it's like in Sweden. Um, stupid, they're not going to get, you know, these are the kind of people who right now uh, work at McDonald's or work as janitors, which is something a computer could do pretty easily. Um, these are the kind of people whose jobs are not going to exist very soon in the future. Um, so, you know, that's... There, there has to be, at some point, and like I said, this coronavirus might be the proof that uh, that a lot of people are unnecessary. I mean, hell, if we everyone goes to uh, remote working, you don't need janitors anymore. You don't need buildings to rent. You don't need building maintenance. Th this is going to be a big thing, and and I think um, a lot of our population is not going to be able to find jobs. Um, I mean, you know, unless we have the government force them into pity jobs or whatever, but they're not going to have jobs. Uh, so I think the need for voluntary suicide uh, to get rid of the sort of useless portion of our society that's kind of leeching off us to begin with, um, I think that that's the way to do it. I mean, I mean, not everyone will do that. There are only some people who will, you know, want to hang on, but that's fine because we, we do, we, you know, we don't, we don't really want 90% of the population to commit suicide. That's, that's too much. But we want to give them that option. 
We want to say this: you can do this. You can get out of this game. Um, don't have any kids. Don't fall in love. Don't do any of these things. It's just going to make you miserable. Um, and don't work in a dead, you know, mind deadening nine to five job that may not even exist in a few uh, couple of years. I think that I've I think I've uh, ranted for long enough about that. Okay. Um, if you have any other comments, now f feel free to make them. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go back to um, figuring out why the hell this doesn't work. And it might be because I didn't bother to define this. So let me, um, let me see if we can do this all correctly at once. Probably not. Um, uh, okay, this is not actually a command. This is something that won't work. Something I want to work. Uh, so it might be that I actually forgot, because we did a reload and I forgot to define these functions. So let's do all of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and define these two things here, which are important. Okay. And then let's do our... Right. We'll do this for just the United States. Okay. So something is clearly wrong with this function. And let's see. Okay. Average death stage. Did I say day or oh death stays. I'm off by I'm off by one letter. Let's try this again. This might be this might have been the big problem that I had. Okay, so this is this is where we're having some problems. Um, for some reason we are getting an empty list, which shouldn't happen actually, but um, Because actually, you know, I goes from 1 to 119, and J goes from... This should not be giving me any problems. However, let's follow our standard practice of minimizing even further. So let's just go from J equal... Let's just go from I goes from 1... No, no, no. Hang on. I actually want to go like 115 to 119. I, I get the feeling that there's like one case that's going to fuck me over. No. Okay. All right. Well, let's just really go all the way here. Um, I goes from 119 to 119. Now, if this fails, um, what's bizarre here is I don't think this has anything to do with it. Zero to a negative exponent, because I'm not doing anything with... Um, with negative exponents, but let's see. Average country, country, let's do SAMP. Make list. Some, something, something's weird here. Let me, let me check something. Um. I mean, I'm missing my... Uh, this should not be giving me problems, but let's see what happens if I... Okay, and it only works when the, the country has a population, so... This should be fine. Okay, great. Also great. I mean, I'm guessing the problem is occurring when I do something like this. Oh no, actually that should be fine. 
this may be what, yeah, there it is. So I might be doing the order I to J wrong. So this should be in the order. Um, M is less than N. The second argument must be less than the third argument. Okay, I think I see what I've done now. Um, yeah. I is the lower of the two arguments. And J is the higher of the two arguments. So if this works... Yay! Ish. Still going to take a little time. And by a little time, I mean forever. Come on. It's making 10,000 calculations right now, but those should not be that difficult. It also occurs to me I could have used the total deaths and just subtracted, um, and then divided by the number of days between the two. Okay, this is not looking good at all. This looks like it may take... This shouldn't be taking this much time, though. I mean, the, the hard function here is average deaths per... Okay. Screw it. Baby wants a new pair of shoes. So let's let's go whole whole let's pretend I can talk and go full hog on it. Now my I am not doing any sort of flattening there. So what I'm gonna get out of this is still not gonna be correct. Um but I don't care. And I probably should be doing a better job of deciding what I'm going to include and not include each time I run this. Um, but I'm not doing that either. So, th no, no, this one should work. Oh. Um. I, J, because I is lower than J. And if this works, we'll be very close to what we're looking for. So the fact that it doesn't crash right away is good. The fact that I put a semicolon at the end of it is really bad, because if it actually does complete this job, um, it's going to spit out one million terms. So I don't really want that. Um, so, and the obvious thing that's going to take the time here is the average deaths, days, and then and there's probably a better way of computing that, actually, uh, now that I think about it. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, you could do it as a subtraction. Um, I mean, it's still a million things you have to, a million data points you have to compute. I'm um, just seeing if there's a faster way of doing it than, um, than the way I'm doing it right now. And... And, and it almost definitely is. But... Okay, I mean, there is a limit how we can do this, so now let's try something else. Okay. Yeah, so we could actually do this. Yeah, actually we don't have, to, this is going like way deep here. Um, We could do something simpler, which is um, a lot simpler, actually. Um, 
which just tells us the number of deaths that have occurred between days M and N, except once again I've got it backwards, although because of data weirdness some countries do have negative deaths, but that's, hopefully that's just a data error. Okay. So this actually defines it. Okay, let's do that. Wow, that was not what I wanted. Okay, so deaths over days. And this should be zero because Sweden hasn't had really um, now I could make this a function, but that means you have to recompute it every time, which is actually not that great. US, I think, also had zero debt, so we'll go from uh, 100 to 106. Okay. Okay. And... Because of the way I've done, no, okay, because of the way I've done this, it doesn't, it, it, 1 to 100 to 106 is 6 days, not 7 days, because I am not including, I'm only including the deaths on days 101 through 106. Okay. Now, in theory, I could take the average of these, but, I mean, and then I'm getting kind of closer and closer to doing what I did up here, but what I really want to do is compute deaths for days, um, for every country, every value of M and N that makes sense. So, and that might be faster than trying to do too much of this stuff all at once. Um, okay, so what we want to do here, and this is a little bit weird because we're actually only making the list to get the variables uh, defined. We don't actually care we don't need an output value here. Um, so make list, and again, this has literally, um, we don't even care what the result is. In fact, I can do this. Okay. So average deaths per day for country, for country and countries, for J goes to, uh, I goes from 1 to 119, and J goes from that to 120. Oh, I'm sorry, we want deaths over days here. Um, okay. Now, if this works, and this might be too much, but let's see what this does. Oh, shit. Um, Pomodoro time, back in two and two.
Okay, we are almost back. And we are still almost back. Aha! Fooled you, didn't I? Okay, then now we're back. Um, Alright, so we're trying to figure out why this isn't working. Um... The only real change I made is invalid index two. Have I defined country or something? I don't think I have. I, J, no, those are fine. Um, oh, hang on. Oh. Yes, I've got the most important rule, um, which is that this only works um, yeah. This should be like an empty or oh, yeah. It's terrible. Um, there's a way around this that doesn't involve um, finding every case that's broken. And I, we did this before. We basically said, if blah, then blah. Um, let's see if we can find that example again. Yeah, there it is. Ah, yes, here it is. Um, Maybe we're going to go a little bit deeper here and try to see if we can use try catch or whatever the error catching mechanism is in Maxima, uh, so that if we have any error, we'll just return zero because we we're not we don't really care right now. I don't know if try catch was a thing back then though. Error catch. Okay, well, that's easy enough. If if it exists, here we go. Um, okay, so I should just be able to put air catch around the whole bloody thing, uh, but it would be nice if we could actually, instead of returning the empty list, returning just a zero, or something that we want. Um, Okay. Okay, error. This is good. This is good shit. Uh, let's see. Evaluate. Okay. One of these should do what I want. Uh, let's try air catch, I guess. Not fantastic, but you know. And let's be really spiffy here. Why am I not getting... Okay. And to get this to work, we do have to restart it, of course. And I don't even think I need to... Yeah, I only need this now, because everything else is predefined. And I kind of forgot about the semicolon. Making my bad. Okay. So now, deaths over days. Um, U.S. from days 100 to 110. problem is we want it as a raw number, not as a, um, uh, 
not as an array with one element. There's lots of ways around this, but I need a way that's going to be friendly in case I do something like this. Oh, oops. Right. So that yields the empty matrix. And the empty array, rather. And... Okay. I mean, this is a very simple... I mean, I could do a very simple if-then um, thing here. It would be nice if we had a way to fucking return something other than the empty array, though. Like, you could give it something to... to um okay, that just causes an error. Error size... Error si oh, hang on. Uh, that's not helpful. <sighs> All right. I don't even think flatten one would work here because, um, you really can't flatten the empty array. Well, let's just see what happens if we do this. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, right, because the, the argument must be a list. Wait. Wait a minute. That is a list. Hmm. Very bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a very simple... <sighs> um... If length list equals zero... No, I think that they still use a single equal, right? Um... then zero else list one. So this is sort of a kludgy workaround to de arrayify Okay, so let's do this. And now flatten n zero. Oh, that almost definitely should have been a function. So that's not going to do anything, but this might but we don't want memoization here, so this is a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. Um, so this should be like this. Um, the weird thing is I think it'll, it'll actually still work. Because I can have two different definitions of one of them is what they call a verb, and one of them is what they call a noun. And now the... There we go. Okay, let's restart this sucker. And I think all we need is this. Oh, we actually need to call that though, don't we? Um, so deaths in the country is going to be flatten and zero of this. I probably don't even need to define them in order because it's um, it's not called immediately. But let's go crazy with that. Okay. And now, let's break stuff. Yeah. Invalid index blah of list or matrix. Um... What let's <sighs> I 
I mean, in theory... Actually, this might not be a bad idea. Actually, this might be a really good idea. Uh, let's see if there's a debug function that already exists, because if there is, I want to... Um... Alright, maybe the built-in debugging can actually do something useful. But no. Alright, so we're going to have this little function called... No, I think they already have a built-in print. Um, they probably have a built-in debug as well. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's call it BC debug just to be obnoxious of any. The more I think about it, the more I don't really need that function, do I? Because I could just say print of these things, and this should obviously, we won't get the deaths over days error, but we will, should see uh, what's wrong. And then, here we go. Yeah, so we could use a transparent debugger, uh, which would print out what it's what it's getting, and then immediately pass it on. So let's do that. Let's let's call it trans debug, not for uh, not for transgendered people. Um, but for um, debugging. Transparent debugger. So I don't think it's going to work, but, you know. Now, if I do this, it won't work because they're misshaped. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we can just do... And this should actually stop and tell us where we had the error. Uh, so I'm really happy that I did this. Wait, what? Yo, mama. Oh, shit. Um... This should work because that actually returns just a single element. Um, I wonder... Uh, yeah, I don't think I can stick a trans debug in front of this, because it's an argument, not really a, an array. I could use the apply command, I know. But let's do this so we'll at least figure out what country it's dying on. Is the country the country we do not like? Okay, here we go. Good, good, good. Now, if this actually ends up working, I will be annoyed. Okay. Let me go ahead and push this to get. Um Oh wait a minute, did I actually define trans debug? Yeah, that might have that might have been an issue. Um, I rock. Yeah. And because uh, one hour, 46 minutes so far, 
I do not think we have anything left to do here. If there's anyone in chat who wants to say anything, please go ahead and do so. Let's see who I don't think anyone's in chat anymore. Um, um, well, if one of you is a real person, please feel free to say hello. Um, but I think that's it for right now. I may or may not be back today. Probably will not be back today. Uh, but I would like to continue doing this. Um, other stuff that I guess I should have said at the top of the stream is um, we we want to continue with our little star map project, but I want to add the other uh, stars from HYG data. We didn't even do anything on that. We might later. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.